Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do part two. Um, I'm gonna show you where we left off on the last part and show you the second part of the series. Enjoy. What we covered last week was uh, up to here, so. replay that pattern and um, when you get back to this chord it's gonna that part uh, the next chord is gonna be it's an E flat you're gonna bar the third fret with your pointer and put your pinky on the sixth fret you're gonna let your pinky go so it's one two three it's an upstroke, and then you're gonna play a G7. It's a downstroke, and then you're gonna play a. This is the same chord up here. You're gonna put your middle finger on the, I believe that's the 11th fret, on the third string, and then you're gonna buy your, the 10th fret, on the bottom two strings, and you're gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna play, um, what we just left off on, and um, get into the second part. So. Okay, starting starting on C, it's gonna go like this. So, and then after that, the next chord is you you want to have this kind of shape. You're gonna put your pinky. If you can see, your pinky is gonna be on the 14th fret on the bottom string. You're gonna down stroke that chord. Make sure you get every single note. And then you're gonna pick the, this bottom note, so it's... You want these two open strings, and your the, the shape, the chord shape is your middle finger on the 11th fret, third string, and your pointer on the 10th fret, bottom string. From there, the E minor chord, put your pointer on the second, second fret, top string, and your pointer on the seventh, I mean your pinky on the seventh, sorry. And you're gonna play the same strumming pattern. And then from there, you're gonna play the same same chord. You're gonna get your ring finger on the bottom string and your middle finger on the third string on the seventh fret. From there, you're gonna play this chord. You're gonna bar just the bottom three strings with your pointer on the fifth fret. And then you're gonna play that same chord up on the 10th and 11th fret with your pointer and middle. And then, so. And then from there, this is a, this is a kind of like a G7. So you're gonna put your pointer on the third, third fret, um, second string. And you can play that uh, kind of like with that same shape you just played. Uh, your middle finger on the fifth and your ring on the fifth bottom string. So it's gonna sound. And you're gonna slide up, slide up one more to this shape. That is uh, your pointer on the bottom string on the eighth fret and your middle finger on the third string on the ninth fret. So it's going to slide up from here. And then back to that chord that we played earlier. So it's going to sound, the entire part is going to sound like this. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat from C again the same that same thing I just played. From there, 
from this chord where we stopped, it's gonna go to like a, it's gonna play, you're gonna play an F shaped chord. You know, open top, third, uh, put your pointer on the first fret, second string, and then your pinky on the bottom fifth of the, yeah, bottom string. So it's gonna go. And then a D minor. And then to a G7. So including from last week and what we learned just now, I'm gonna play play it entirely. So I'll, I'll play it slow and you know clear, so you can you can try to follow along. So. Okay, that concludes part two. Um, we'll go over part three next week.